Thank you for joining us for another install video, ladies and gents. I'm your long lost love, pen pal, and host officer Dan, coming at you with a nice, simple, but oh so freaking effective must do. Be in the GR, GT86, BRZ, FRS, anti dive relocator brackets. This handy little set of brackets and shims looks pretty simple from the outside, but once you take a deep dive into the beautiful soul that is these brackets and the effects that these have and what they can do, it's actually pretty sweet. Now to do said ultra C deep diving, you're gonna wanna head to the website. We hash out everything you need to know about these small but powerful brackets on said product page. We will float them on the screen right meow in case you blacked out and overlooked them while you were unboxing these Johns. Speaking of covering everything you need to know, we even wrote out a blog post for this one as we know it can get kind of into the weeds and across some people's heads, and I know it did with me until I got myself edumacated. So if you want to take that ultra deep dive and see some fancy graphs and or charts whilst enjoying some technical nighttime reading, then scoot on over to that page as well. Now for the attention impaired 99% of the population who can't or won't read any longer than in and outs menu, we'll break down the more technical side later on in the video. For now though, let's get sunk into what each part in the kit does. Starting with the main bracket, which was simply made to accommodate for the adjustments, the guys even managed to whittle it out of 6061 T6 billet aluminum for added bonus points. Now this little pea shooter tube right here is what's needed when you're fitting this to an OEM bushing like we're showing on the screen. Because who can forget what an OEM bushing looks like, and also on an aftermarket spherical bushing like the spherical bushings that we conveniently offer on the website that are also a common upgrade from the OEM bushing. So if you have one of these two options, then this little sleeve needs to be used by sliding it through the center of the bushings. Now, if you were a true GK Tecker and you were running our super lock front lower control arms, then this tube would not be needed and can be retired as a giant pea shooter or given its girth, a macadamia nut shooter and or similar. Next up, you have the spacers themselves, which come in five and 10 millimeter thickness, meaning you can adjust all the way up to 20 millimeters. Sick. Lastly, you have all the hardware for those of you that may have forgotten that your little pocket rocket has a stud on the front side of the arm like we're showing here on the screen. This bolt is supplied to replace that stud. It comes out pretty easily by simply loosening and removing the stud from the super handy hex that Toyota Roo supplied you. All right, now that you know what everything does, we jump right in and mess around with our anti-dive. Now, in our case, we'll be installing this on our shop BRZ, which does have our front lower control arms fitted, so the OEM stud has been removed already. This means we won't need the sleeve we mentioned earlier, and there probably will be an abundance of giant peas and or macadamia nuts or whatever we can jam into this tube scattered across the workshop floor. The install's the same whether you have the OEM bushing, spherical bushing, or FLCAs. Anywho, go ahead and zap the bolt from the chassis securing it to the bracket as well as the bolt that runs through the spherical bearing on the FLCA. So with our convenient little segment named Knowledge Injunction, this would be the best time to explain where to set up the arm with a little run through on anti-dive in general and what it actually does. So, essentially anti-dive is a suspension characteristic that reduces how much the front of your car dives when braking or going over bumps by redirecting some of the load transfer through the suspension arms instead of the coilover. This means that when you're braking, your coilover will compress less in the front, which means you'll get a better tire contact patch on the road whilst doing said braking. With that said, let's hop on over to our adjustment segment and visualize the positionings that may or may not work best for your little tofu truck. Now, this beloved chassis already has has relatively low anti-dive to begin with, being built more for comfort than performance. So if for some reason you like it this way and think it already drives great in your humble opinion, then this current shim stacking configuration shown on the screen with all the spacers on the bottom would leave you in the OEM position. Which for the OEM height dudes, this gives the OEM value. If you have lowered your whip, then you would already have dialed in some anti-dive in just being so low. So you would need less adjustment compared to the OEM height guys. So now you might be wondering, where the hell do I set it then? To kick this off, we'll pop up on the screen a little handy dandy anti-dive cheat sheet. Well, there's a scientific sweet spot that our beloved engineers calculated, which we recommend being around the 10 to 25% range, which should give your whip the best starting point for you to dial in the most optimal amount of anti-diveness. So 
So for the low load dudes, most would only benefit from a slight increase as you've already had some dialed in. So we recommend a starting position of 10 millimeters, AKA around the 19.4% mark, which can be done by sliding the 10 millimeter spacer up top, then leaving the two five millimeter shorties on the bottom. This keeps you in that sweet spot, 10 to 25% range we mentioned earlier. Setting it here will put you almost smack bang in the middle of the range, kinda. So that means that if you lower dudes are feeling frisky, you can play around with the five millimeter or 15 millimeter position and see how your whip feels from there. For the OEM ride height dudes, putting this in the 10 millimeter position will leave you just shy of that 10 to 25% sweet spot range we've been yapping about. So we recommend you guys start around the 15 millimeter mark, AKA the 14.8% range, which can be done by leaving a five millimeter shorty on the bottom and and sliding the rest of the spacers on the top like we're showing on the screen right now. You OEM dudes can maybe have a play in either direction by playing with the 10 millimeter position or up to the 20 millimeter position if you guys are also feeling naughty, then seeing how your whip behaves as either option will keep you in that beloved 10 to 25% anti-dive range. Lastly, you have all the spacers stacked up on top, which is what we mentioned keeps the OEM height dudes in that sweet spot at 21.2% and takes the lower dudes out of the sweet spot, bringing them up to 33%. So as you can see, we've included enough ranges for pretty much all the setups out there. Now in our case, we're happy with how everything felt, so we'll be leaving it in the OEM position for now. So if you're setting it to the OEM position like us, go ahead and pull all the spacers and put them on the bottom, wedged in between the bracket and the bearing, and slide that long bolt through the guts. Then go ahead and tighten it down, getting it nice and snug, and head over to the bracket bolt and tighten that down also. Now once both are tight, torque the chassis bolt to the specs laid out on the screen below, and then head over to the rose joint bolt and torque that to the specs listed here as well. As always guys, these values are recommended as starting points and are a guide only. There's a bunch of variables you need to consider depending on your setup, and you will still need to cautiously test and adjust as needed. You did it. That's it. Literally, that's it. Now you have the ability to adjust your anti-dive and squeeze that bit more deserved performance out of this fantastic chassis. You rock star you. Speaking of things that are in need, these guys throw these videos together and educate the youth in this era of freaking cool car parts. Appreciate the views. Now, if you don't know what you're doing at all, please reach out to a professional. Seriously, they're everywhere and go find one and get some help or feel free to reach out to us via electronic mail. We welcome you with open arms and are happy to help whenever we can. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and DK with the world's best goddamn how-tos. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.